Um, oh, hang on. I, I don't know why this happened, but I decided that what I was going to do was I was going to kill the Chaos Fanatic because I wanted to get the Hard Wildy Diaries done and it's half past midnight and I slept for five hours at about midday so I'm not tired at all. So I think this is a good time to do it. So I'm going to try and uh, grind out all the way to the uh, complete Hard Wildy Diaries words. I'm, I'm well, Chaos Archaeologist is easy, so I did that, no issue. Uh, first attempt at Scorpia, did not go as well. Um, ran out of runes. I brought 50 casts, I assumed that would be enough. Turns out, no. Uh, I have no clue what I'm doing. I haven't killed Scorpia in so long, I forgot that they have healers. There we go, that is the Scorpia kill. That is that task, it should be that task, yeah, that's that task done. Um, I'm fairly sure the only thing that I can't just do is I need to boost to make a Addy Sim, but that's 75, so I can do that. Sweet. Uh, obviously, this isn't the gear that I'm going to be killing him in, but I just wanted to try setting up the safe spot. Uh, if you want, I can make a quick guide of how to do this. It's actually quite easy. Um, hang on, did I actually hit him? I wasn't paying attention, or has someone else already hit him? I don't know. But yeah, I need to kill this guy for the hard diary. So I'm going to grab actual gear and try and kill him. Probably just going to be using the barrel chest anchor. Dude, this is so good. Like, I'm actually not missing. And, I, and I've forgotten to boost as well. I always remember this guy being so awkward to kill. Why is he now so easy? There we go. That is that done. Yay, more tuna. Just what I always needed. I can't even take it. What a shame. Uh, do I keep killing this guy? You know what, let's, let's, let's keep killing this guy. Uh, I only brought one prayer pot because I forgot that I would need to... Okay, never mind, we're not killing this guy anymore. Uh, we're, we're gonna go... We're, yeah, yeah, that guy scared me. Okay, we're gonna go find a new world. Whoa, what the heck? Vettian just sniped me. Dude, oh god, everything's going wrong. Ah! No, stop. Vettian, what are you doing here? Get out of here. Bitch, go away. <laughs> That was that was that was very unexpected. Hang on, how many casts did I bring? I think I brought a hundred. Yeah, so I I could kill another one. You know, let's, let's go for another kill. I've completed the hard task. If I die, oh well, I don't care enough. Uh, I'll keep this. So yeah, Vayan, I don't know what you're doing here. Go away. Nice and easy. Only took I think six boosts. So that's that's fine. Uh, for the diary, I need a muddy key. So I came over here to. Uh, Crazy archaeologist, and I just got an empty drop with a long bone, so that's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've I've got to I've got to get myself a muddy key. This is my world, dude. Leave. Hey, got the muddy key. Uh, this didn't take me too long. How many was that? Uh, Twenty-two kills. This is a super quick and fairly AFK boss, so it's not too much of an issue. Okay, I have finished the hard and medium tasks. So, yeah, boom, boom, cool, brilliant. I, I don't actually know what the other rewards are. I know All I know is that I get a telly to the Fountain of Rune, and I know I need that right now because my glories are out of charges. So this is going to be very good. I'm going to have to look, in, look into what other rewards I actually get. Um... I know I get more ecumenical keys, I think, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go recharge my glories now. Hey, killing the mole when you don't have Fally hards is so bad. <laughs> he just digs and he's the other end of the freaking cave and it's like, I cannot get back to you. But yeah, so that was the completion of the hard Fally diaries. Uh, I don't know why, but apparently I'm in a mood to just complete all of the diaries. Uh, I don't know how many more I'll do, because I was watching it up world's end, it's about to finish and it's half past three in the morning, so I should probably sleep. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's get this, all the hard tasks, I, uh, sure. Uh, all I know is that it gives me mole locator, so it'll show me where the mo where mole goes, and I get noted claws and hides from mole, which will be good for birdhouses when I can make bruise because that'll be really good herb xp so 
Right, so I was looking at the Fremnic Diaries and I needed to mine Adio, so I needed 70 mining. I was about 14k away, so I thought let's just come and power mine it out. So now that I've got that, I can complete the rest of Fremnic cards without using any boosts, so let's go do that. Hey, once I started using the right spice, I got the boost first try, and so that is the Fremnic Diaries completed. I can't teleport? Oh, I brought three lore runes. Okay, I see how it is. Um... So yeah, uh, that, that is the Fremnic Diary completed, so I'm going to go collect my rewards and then see which is the next diary that I'm going to do. I forgot to record, but yeah, basically what this uh, diary gives me is... Uh, I've completely forgotten. But, but, uh, I get new Lunar Spells and other things that I literally just read and can't remember what they are, but it's good. It's, it's, it's good. Okay, so I've done a couple games with each. I think I did uh, one easy, three medium, and then one hard. Uh, that because that that put me, that puts me onto twenty, and it completes all the tasks. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go buy myself some feathers and uh, some feathers and some broad arrowheads. I'm not gonna buy all four hundred thousand. Because that would be a lot of money and would take me to, I think it was like 90 or 91, which is entirely unnecessary. But I feel like I may as well be doing it because there's no reason not to. So I'll probably start with 25k. I'll see how much this will cost me. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go buy 25k of everything and then come back to do some pest control. Okay, this was a lot more expensive than I was expecting it to be. Uh, I had about 1.1 to 1.2 mil at the start. Uh, I bought myself 15k and I have very little of it left. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully this lasts me for quite a while. I've never really done this before. I've, I mean, I've, I've made headless, I've made broad arrows before, but you know what I mean. I've not, I, I've not made a significant amount of them while doing pest control. So I don't know how this is going to go and my speaking of going my voice is just my voice is giving up so I'm going to stop recording uh, okay so my I didn't have uh, OBS open and it decided to update so I didn't get to actually record this but when I was doing Tears of Gothics I got myself 59 runecrafting uh, so that means I can do double cosmics now which will actually be pretty cool because um, it will obviously I'll get twice as many cosmics so obviously but yeah, um, for me to be able to get to 60, I'll need to make about 31 to 3200 Cosmics. And as you can see, I have just short of that in essence. So, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to take a quick break from doing Pest Control. I got to about 300 points, I think. And I'm going to do a bit of runecrafting. I'm not going to craft all of these, but I'm going to make a good few of them. And then I'll go back to Pest Control, and then I'll craft some more... So I'm going to have the enjoyable content of going of alternating between rune crafting and pest control. So um, I think, uh, you know, a reasonable measurement of time might be until I run out of charges in my glories. So I'm going to rune craft until I run out of charges, then go back to pest control, then recharge my glories and rune craft. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to record this because this should be the last task in the Lumbridge area. Yep, there we go. So once I've done a bit more room crafting, I'm gonna have to go pick that up. Uh, but yeah, that's that leaves uh, only two more diaries, I think, before I've completed all hards. Um, hang on, let's let's check. Ardi, I need to get sixty room crafting. Oh, okay, so three. I can't remember what I need for the Varrock one. Uh, uh, once I get this next monkfish, this will be seventy-one. Fishing. I know I said that I was going to do like rune crafting and pest control, but I wanted to do a bit of AFKing, and that's just typical, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, once I get this last monkfish, there we go, 71 fishing, I can now boost to catch a shark uh, and go complete my elite. Uh, I'm, I'd say I'm fairly done with AFKing now, so I'll probably go do that next, as long as I have an Admiral Pie. Ad uh, I, th I don't think I do. I th I'm fairly sure I can buy it in Varrock though, so it's not too bad. Oh, um, literally just used the boost and like straight away got a shark. I was actually expecting it to take a couple attempts. 
because normally sharks are really slow to catch but yeah that is the shark caught I'm just gonna keep fishing until I lose a boost but I have completed this step so I can head back to uh, Sherlock and see what the next one is. Hang on, how many have I done already? Oh, okay, this was the first step. Alright then. Alright, once I completed that step, I could actually do the rest of the steps quite easily. So what are we going to get in this elite? No, I've got one of those things. Ah, oh, jeez. How many steps did I manage to complete? It was like three or four, I think. Four. So this was only, this was only like a couple steps off being completed. Uh, it just just ignore all that. that. That it doesn't matter. But yeah, this was this was super close to getting completed. So I'm kind of sad that I'm gonna have to drop it. But there's no way that I could, like, if I really wanted to, I would probably be able to grind out a, a BGS. It would take a bloody long time, but it would be possible. But the plate body is completely RNG. I could just keep doing clues and never get it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to drop this. Sadly, that was. That was a lot of work for nothing, oh well. Right, if this could be another heraldic shield or a heraldic helm, or even just a bunch of alcohol, it'll be so good. Well, you know what? It's kind of cool. Like, it's just, it's literally just going to take up bank space, but it's cool, I guess. Oh, uh, I've almost got full um, Sarah. I didn't know this, but look. Uh, I just need the kite shield and then that can be put in my bank, in, uh, not my bank, in my chest, in my house, as long as it's a high enough level. I can't remember what level I actually need, but I'm getting close, so yeah, it's pretty cool.